Ringo TV Reactions, back at you again with another one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Let's get down to work. Yo nigga buy that paper. Yo nigga buy that paper. True man on free, I wake up a new episode. I pop out clean and be up a level though. She talked to me like I'm not me, I get it though. Yeah, I'm so eclectic, got me to the credits. Roll talk down to me, they might have to send medical. I'm out the league, I'm OD, they pathetic though. Look how I move, I'm protected. Saw these souls wanting my presence. The world going through it outside, they unruly, but I keep it cool, they can't press me. I keep it pure with intention. They see what I'm on, ain't no vixen. I might like do it that top down. I keep it tuned with a high power. Put it on me, I'm blessed. Young nigga, blessed. Big bag, man, I fix the sky, no stress. Keep no evil around me, can't ground me. I built it since when I had less. No hex on God, can't pause, nigga. Look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper. Don't think about that paper. On that jet, I done switch to the coast One of a kind, I've been playing that role They pay me to play me, I needed it for It's real if I said I meant what I spoke I'm legend, it's written, I shake up the city Spin block till I'm dizzy, won't ever go broke I'm chose, I must like the way that top down I keep in tune with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Young nigga blessed Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress Keep no evil around me, can't ground me I built it since when I had this No hex on God, can't pause Nigga, look at how far we progress Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper. What's going on, loved ones? This is Neo. All right, listen. I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what I do, or what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because like I said, opinions ain't special, everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer. So check this out. First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43 year old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel the same way you are entitled to feel how you feel. I ain't asked nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. I was asked a question and I answered the damn question, okay? I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you wanna do. Do what you wanna do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion on this matter and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I will never be okay with that. I don't I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, I doubt that there's any book anywhere or any opinion that somebody's going to tell me that's going to make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that. That's just period point blank and that's how I feel. If I get canceled for this, then you know what? Maybe this is a world where they don't need a neo no more, all right? And I got no problem with that. I'm a hustler, all right? I'll figure it out. I got kids to raise and I'm going to do that regardless. So with that being said, y'all have a good day. I love everybody. Live how you want to live, love how you want to love, but your opinion is yours. Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because as I said, they're not important. They're not special. Everybody got one and you're entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. All right. Y'all feel how y'all want to feel. Have a great day. It's Neo. Peace and love. Well, that didn't age well. Top of the morning, Ringo TV reactions back again with another one. Breaking news. Neo forced to put on a dress. Yeah, that's right. You know, the industry have a way of 
I guess, making people eat their words. Now, you know, Neo was very uh, outspoken regarding, you know, various things, you know, a while ago. And lo and behold, it's like the industry said, you know what? We're going to play. We're going to make you put on this dress because you, you owe us because, you know, you said a couple of things that we didn't like. And, and this is what they do. This is what they do to the brothers. This is what they do every single day. They make our brothers put on these dresses. This is what they do. And it, it sends mix, mixed signals because it's like just the other day, Neo was saying how he's a heterosexual man and he got boys to raise. And, and I'm trying to figure this out, Neo, you know, respectfully. How how is this right? How is wearing this dress helping you to to raise your boys? I just want to know. You know, no, I, I'm just asking questions. I just want to know because we just listened to the tape and I'm trying to give my feedback and some pushback on Neo's talking points because he said that he's a heterosexual man and he have five boys or some odd boys, whatever to raise. And he don't agree with this and that. And I'm trying to figure out where do you draw the line? So, so you you got a problem with people i guess pushing things on children but you're an adult so how do you justify this how did how did you go from this what's going on loved ones this is neo all right listen i normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what i do or what y'all have to say about what i say whatever how did you go from that to this i'm trying to figure it out you know like this is this is too much man i mean just look at what they made you put on fam look at what they look at what they did to you neo just the other day you were standing firm on your beliefs now you contradicted yourself now now nobody could take you serious and see, this is a humiliation ritual. That's what this is right here. This is a humiliation ritual where he walked through the door. He, you know, had to renegotiate his contract. Because remember, he said, if they cancel me, then, you know, the world can do without a Neo. But right here, we can clearly see that Neo had a change of heart. You know, he had a change of heart. And he decided, I'm going to put on this dress. And even though I know people are going to be talking about me online, they're going to be making videos. I got to do it because I got to eat. You know what I mean? But this is what happens every single day in the industry. And, and now we can't take Neo serious now. So all that stuff that he had to say just went out the window. And this is how the industry would do you. This is why Dave Chappelle fought against the industry and refused to put on that dress, man. You know, they came to his dressing room and they was like, hey, Dave, man, we got this dress. It'll be really funny if you put on this dress. I mean, <laughs> Dave was like, nah, man, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, fam. But it'll be funny. He's like, look, I'm already funny, man. Just give me something to, to say. I'll make everybody laugh. Matter of fact, I don't even have to say nothing. I'm Dave Chappelle. All I got to do is put on a fa facial expression and they'll start laughing. <laughs> you know? So I'm, I'm looking at this situation because, you know, a sister sent me this video clip and, and I'm like, like, what's going on, man? This is very evident and clear. Now, if you look at the tape, right, everybody else, like if you look at all the men, right, like let just let it roll, right? I mean, look at what, I mean, these are young, young teenage boys right here, young men with their mothers and whatnot and or their sisters. I don't know who they with, but my point is, this is the image being given to our young brothers. I mean, Neo said that he's a strong heterosexual man, 
but yet his the image of what he's putting out there you get what i'm saying the image that he's putting out there is sending mixed signals to these young brothers it's gonna literally lead these brothers the other way because it's like you said one thing but now you're doing another thing and it's like like come on man this is not right man we look you know if if you're a man and you stand on your beliefs man stand on those beliefs and don't move from them but when you do stuff like this man it's very clear the industry forced you now somebody in the chat said he made a choice yeah of course everybody make choices but the point is he was forced by the industry they told him you better do this or else so out of all the outfits of and the, all of the characters they had to put him in a dress y'all come on man you know the women are wearing their dresses and whatnot and then look at how he's dancing man come on man look 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 at this is not right this is not right man look 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 how he's holding the microphone and everything what is this come on man he's blending in with the women on the stage and it, it's making a mockery of him look at the guys that are on the stage and and all the other ethnic groups are being entertained by by us looking like clowns how, how long are we as black men gonna put ourselves in this situation where we're just looking weak and then our women looking at us like man these are supposed to be the guys that are supposed to protect us these are supposed to be the strong men address neo address man i tell you man we just we just out here looking bad man look look at this bro look at this mess man the guys, they're wearing suits. So, Neo, you couldn't wear a suit, right? You had to put on a dress. You know. Because, again, Neo, I, I know you're going to be listening to my video because a lot of celebs, they they watch my videos. Um, Why, bro? Why? You, you spoke a good word when, you know, you were getting pushed back. You said, hey, it wasn't me that made that apology. It was some sort of publicist or whatever the case is. And you stood firm and everybody believed you. They were like, they were rooting for you. It was like, finally, we got a brother who is standing firm on what he believed as a father. But now to see you put on this dress, bro, it's like, and it's sad. And these, look at all these young people, fam. This is, see, this is the generation that is being destroyed right now. Now, these are all young folk, bro. Young people. And this is what Neo is introducing. Come on, man. You can't make this up. You can't make this up, man. Now, look. To the industry. Y'all couldn't find a woman to put on the dress? Like, seriously. Why Neo? I get it. Because of the things that he said, right? Y'all didn't like it, right? So, so nobody's allowed to have opinions. Nobody's allowed to have anything, right? As soon as you have an opinion that goes against the, the status quo, you're a hater all of a sudden. So this is the way you get back at Neo to undo everything he did, humiliate him, because that's what this is. This is a humiliation ritual. And pretty much everybody that was in support of Neo is going to say, nah, fam, I'm done. And this is why we really can't take these celebrities serious, man. They all walk through the door. At the end of the day, they all walked through the door. That's how they get the check, man. This is how they do it. You know? And and is that a is that a cow outfit? It it all represents feminine. You know? It, it all represents feminine, man. What? Yo, man, this is this is crazy, man. And then you got this guy right here, Mr. Polygyny. You know, 
you would think that he of all people would be like nah fam this ain't a good look bro like they got him up there singing and dancing too so see everybody's into this man everybody is into this mess and it's only us as a people man look how they got this guy dancing bro and you know he don't feel right doing this right you know he don't feel right doing this this is how humiliation rituals work you see this is how it works they play these games and they win these dumb prizes and now you're gonna have everybody out here making videos running this clip sharing their thoughts and opinions and it's gonna undo everything that he had to say so now i can't take neo serious now i can't i can't take him serious fam because at first I thought that he was standing his ground. I was like, wow, somebody in the industry standing on their belief. They standing on business. But no, he's he's doing some other business right now. You know, and they're making a mockery of him. Because I'm going to be honest with you, fam, like to you brothers, man, uh, you can't put on this dress and get any sort of hot women to be excited about you. you like you see like how all the ladies are next to him and they all dancing like everybody having fun in the real world if you're a brother and you claim that you're a heterosexual man right you cannot walk outside with that dress and think that you're gonna attract these women it's just not gonna happen you know they're gonna look at you funny but see in the industry they make everything entertaining and they make it cool so what do you think neo is doing now he said he's a father he got sons to raise but what exactly is he influencing he's influencing the young boys that's what he's doing right now he's basically influencing the young boys to basically think that it's cool Hey, if Neo put on a dress, then, you know, I'm saying I could put on one, too. I mean, yeah, he said he said what he said the other day about raising young boys and stuff, but it looked like he changed his mind. So I guess I guess it's OK. Right. So he basically undid everything he said. Y'all, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that everything that Neo said regarding uh, his thoughts about what they're pushing on children he undid it by wearing this dress and the industry knows this they know this now in neo's mind he probably thinking uh ah, ain't nothing wrong i'm doing it for the kids i'm doing no 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 you contradicted yourself this is not a good look right now you know this is not a good look fam this is not looking good neo man you're looking crazy out here really really crazy I mean, the dress have breasts. Y'all don't see he's wearing something to make it appear like he have breasts. You know, that's that's basically what's going on. This is crazy, man. Um, let me see. Do we have any trolls in the building? Seem like y'all arguing amongst yourselves. Anytime I go live, it's like some troll come in. What's going on? Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we got here? Um, trying to find out what's going on with this chat. Da, 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 da. You said James. James who? I'm trying to look for the name. James. What did James do? Is James defending the dress? Like, what's going on? I don't even see no James, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm trying to see who trolling so I can pack them up. But, you know, I got to read the comments first. What are you talking about, JQ James? why would he why would he be trolling and he's a member like that wouldn't make any sense 
What did he say? <laughs> you got to prove your case now. I mean, a member would know better than to be trolling. Um, let me see. He's not trolling. He said, I don't even watch this trash show. He's talking about the show that Neo is on. He's not talking about me. You got to you got to read in context, you know. You probably misunderstood what he was saying or something. He's talking about the show that's on uh, that Neo is on. I don't even know what he's on today. The truth, like I said, a sister showed me this video. Um, no, Sandra, you're misunderstanding him. You jump into conclusions. You got to read to understand. He's talking about the show with Neo, the show that Neo is on that I'm showing. He's not talking about me. <laughs> like you're reading, you know, you 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 are literally rooting to get the man packed up and whatnot. <laughs> you know, trust me, I know when someone's talking about me. But um, anyway, you apologize, to James. Okay, let's let's move on. Right. It's going to be OK. Right. <laughs> it's going to be OK. But uh, getting back to the point, fam, like just look at the dress that they got this guy in, man. They got this man. With the skirt dress, with the, the tie, the bow tie thing. Yo, this is crazy, man. This is wild, fam. I don't know what else to say, man. I, I just don't know. Like, I'm trying to, you know, let all this stuff register, but it's, it's, it's wild. This is supposed to be the, the strong, you know, masculine male, you know, Neo, the guy that said he's standing his ground. He's not going to let nobody change his mind about his beliefs, but it looked like he changed his mind, man. So, I don't know. I guess the uh, them other people must have paid him a visit and said, look, fam, what you said on your Instagram, you know, what I'm saying it's not cool. We need we need for you to agree with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you put this dress on. Right. And uh, we want you to smile and cheese for the camera. And, uh, you know, be happy while you wear it because we need for the young people to see that you're marketable again because you know according to popular opinion you your rating in the public went down when you said those things that you said so in order to uh make people like you again right from various different communities and groups right we don't need to mention no group names right but at the same time, y'all all know what I'm talking about. My point is, in order for Neo to be marketable, especially during the holidays and various other things, he got to do something that will satisfy various groups of people. It must, because you have a lot of parents that were offended by the things that Neo said, With, you know, Again, we live in a society, right? We live in a society where we can't even think no more. You know, if I don't agree with your mess, then I'm a bad person. That's the world we live in. Like, I, I, I can't have an opinion, right? When it comes to the agenda, if you're in the industry, you're just supposed to go with it. You can't, you can't protest against it. If you do, uh-oh, canceled, no more money, homeless, could I get a job again? Well, you got to wear a dress. Okay, Massa, I'll put on the dress. And then when you wear the dress, now you go through the humiliation ritual, and now nobody respects you no more. The industry got what they wanted. They made you look crazy. They made you put on that dress. Because I can guarantee you, Neo did not want to put on that dress. Trust and believe, man. Neo did not want to put on that dress. But he had to. Remember what Takashi 69 says. He said, you have to. You have to. You have to do it. And that's exactly what happened. 
you know he had to put on the dress just look at how he's smiling man now again this is neo the other day what's going on loved ones this is neo all right listen i normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what i do or what y'all have to say about what i say whatever so so you're gonna say the same thing about that dress so you don't care what we think about you wearing that dress after all that stuff you just said come on man i normally don't care because like i said opinions ain't special everybody got one however this is something i feel very strongly on so you feel very strongly about the dress i'm just asking neo do you feel very strongly about the dress because you know i'm a father so i was listening to your words and you spoke as a father but now when i see you in the dress it like there's no real value to the things that you said now it, it's like it, it it don't have no 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 weight to it no more at first i thought you was official you know even though i had my doubts about who you are you know what i mean because to be honest with you fam i always thought that that neo you know played for the other team i really did you know what i'm saying because you know you got guys that they'll, they'll have kids and still play for the other team you know, a lot of times, ladies, y'all be thinking that if a dude have kids, that that mean that, you know what I'm saying? He don't he don't like Fruity Pebbles. You know what I mean? But no, a, a guy can go out there, have some babies, right? And still eat Lucky Charms, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. That, that, that's what they do, man. They like Lucky Charms. Um, you know what I'm saying? Fruity Pebbles. Um, uh, Captain Crunch Berries. They, they love those cereals. Those are their favorite cereals. On the low key. You know what I mean? You like, how I, you like all my, my, my bars, right, that I'm spitting, right? <laughs> See, I know how to talk. You know what I mean? Um, it is what it is, man. Nah, not really frosted flakes, man. I mean, I understand what you're saying about the sugar, but we want to keep it. We want to keep it colorful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you understand, you know, fruity pebbles. If you understand Lucky Charms. If you understand Captain Crunch Berries. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know they got different berries. You know, you got different color berries. So. Um, this is really interesting, man. I'm trying to figure out what he's going to say about this when he get pushed back. Because he's going to get pushed back. You're going to see other creators, you know, later on in the day. They're going to talk about this. And, um, you know, they're going to share their thoughts. So it's going to be interesting hearing what other people got to say. Um, I just thought that I share mine. I think that Neo is a poor example um, of a father at this point. Because to be honest, fam, I'm just I'm just speaking real. Like, if 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 I have five sons, right, and I gave a good speech, and then my sons see me on TV in a dress, um, they're gonna look at me and wonder what am I doing? Because I said one thing and now I'm in a dress. So it's like, which one are you doing? Are are you saying that it's okay? Which one are you? Because that's what you're saying. Because here's the thing, Neo, you're a grown man. So you should know right from wrong, right? So are you saying that when your sons get older, that they can wear a dress? Is that what you're saying? Being that you're an adult, right? Being that you're an adult, are you saying that it's okay that when your young boys get of age, that it's cool? For them to put on a dress it, that gotta be what he's saying right because i mean the sons now now think about the sons that are in school i don't know the ages of his sons i don't know the ages but think about them getting teased in school because of this i don't think neo is paying attention to what's going on man I don't, I don't think he's thinking about what he... Listen, man, when you got sons, man, 
see, I have all girls, right? I got four daughters. But if, if, if I have sons, man, it's like there's certain things, man, you just can't be doing, man, because they 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 soak up everything you do. Them boys be watching their father moves. And if they see you in a dress, they're going to want to put on the dress because you have it on. So now if your son decides, hey, dad, um, I want to put on this dress. Why you want to put on the dress, son? But dad, dad, you put it on. You put on the dress, dad. Son, I don't want you wearing no dress. But dad, I saw you on TV wearing it. Son, I said no dress. But dad, you had on a dress, you know, you had a little ribbon bow. I want to wear a dress. I don't mind wearing it. I want to look, I want to look pretty. Do you see what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is this. If, if, if this is what you want to do for your sons, then hey, so be it. Hey, look, Neo, I ain't a. If, if this is what you want to do and you want to teach your sons to wear dresses, then cool. You know what I mean? Cool. If, if, if that's what it is, then cool. All I'm saying is don't send mixed messages. You know what I'm saying? And salute to New Breed in the chat. Salute to New Breed. I know you're going to have something to say about this, fam. I know you're going to have something to say about this one. You know what I mean? This is crazy, man. But but here it is, man. Like, we supposed to be fathers, man. We can't be doing this, man. This ain't... Listen, I understand you got different characters that people, their jobs is to wear costumes. And there's nothing wrong if you have a job, right? And your job is to wear different costumes and all of that other stuff. But I'm not wearing a dress costume. That's one thing I wouldn't do. If my job is to be a particular character or whatever the case is, I'll do that as long as it's a, it's, it's a male character, if, if that makes sense. You know? And my personal opinion is if, if, if it's a dress, then find a female, a woman, and let her put on that dress. I think she would play the character even better because now if I got to put on the dress, that means I got to move like a woman. I got to shake my behind like a woman in order for it to be entertaining. And that's unacceptable in my opinion, you know, to say the least. You know? Yeah, I, I don't know how he can be a protector. I don't know how he could be a protector of his lady and kids like this. It, it, you he wouldn't he wouldn't be a threat to anyone because if the perp pull up and see him with the dress, they're not gonna be they're not gonna be scared. They're not gonna be nervous. They're gonna be like, you know, this guy's weak. You know. But um, I think there's a possibility that the people who play for the other team may have gotten in contact with the record labels and uh, various other people that are connected to Neo. And um, they forced him. They forced him to put on, put on that dress against his will. I can guarantee you he didn't want to put it on, but they they threatened him. They, they definitely threatened him by pulling the plug on various projects he got in the works, possible uh, sponsorships, because, you know, sponsorships, they really pay well. And um, a lot of people, they depend on their sponsors and, and various other people. And when them sponsorships get pulled, man, that's a that's a bag right there that just got pulled from you. So, hey, um, it is what it is, man. I, I just don't agree with what he's doing here, man. It's really sad. I'm not going to play the tape of him again talking i'm talking about the black and white image um i'm not gonna play that again but this him dancing look at the tail fam you ain't see that look check this out fam come on man this guy got a tail coming out his back door bro <laughs> this is not right bro and and you have to think about the cameraman showing this type of stuff now again 
you have uh, characters that got a tail. We're not here to talk about characters that got a tail. So let's not take anything I say out of context. What we're talking about is a man who got on his platform and proclaim a lot of things regarding, you know, what he don't want children to see, what he don't want children to do. And it really sound like this man was really serious about this type of stuff. But based on based on what we what we see in here, uh, it's very clear that uh, this guy is on a different frequency, man. Totally different frequency. And um, I really, really am concerned about uh, his boys <laughs> and what they're going to think of of dad at this point. And them possibly being uh, teased in school because the last thing you want to do is be teased in school. And I think that stuff like this sets it up because other kids will see this and remember what his father was saying and say, wait a minute, why your father is wearing a dress and why your father is this? And now they got to explain to these other kids on why their father did this and that. So I really think that Neo is being irresponsible as a father and he's uh, neglecting his own son's growth and uh, the influence that he's going to have on them with this. You know, it's just not a good look, fam. This is and everybody's dancing and celebrating like this is just great. Like, you know. And it's not. I mean, if look, here's the thing, fam. If you're a person, right, and you you play for the other team, right, and that's what you do, then that's what you do. We're not talking to you. We're talking about a man who is in a video on the left side of the screen saying that he is a heterosexual man. Now, if you're a heterosexual man, you don't wear dresses. That's just logical thinking like we don't wear dresses you know we don't do that so for him to contradict what he claim he he he's like it, it just doesn't make sense it send mixed signals and everybody's laughing that's the thing that is disturbing about this is is how everybody's so entertained by him being in the dress it's not just about him playing a character, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get out of the, uh, you know, oh, it's a, it's just a character and, you know, it, it's nothing harmful. No, it's harmful. It's harmful for young boys that are being developed because this is a man that claim he don't want this and that for his kids. This is what he said. So all I'm saying is he's sending two different messages two different messages fam which one is the real message that's all i'm trying to say because think about how many other fathers out there that was rooting for neo like okay he's um you know what i'm saying he's standing firm on what he believes he, he he's he's not backing down to what the industry might be pushing because you know there's agendas in the industry to, you know what I'm saying, to influence your children, to be honest with you. They do it in the school system. They do it during the holidays. They got all your kids thinking about Santa Claus and Christmas. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't get away from this type of stuff. You know, in my house, we don't celebrate no Christmas. But my point is, these kids, they go to schools, and in the schools, they... they influence them with this Christmas thing and it's like when the kids come home you gotta keep renewing their minds that we don't do this we don't do that and they they'll confess the word Christmas oh we're off on Christmas uh you know holiday where uh you know like they get a certain amount of days off and and it's like you can't run from this stuff this stuff is just in your children's face all day and it's crazy, man. No matter how much you don't do certain things, these kids are being influenced, man. As, as much as I teach the word, 
show my girls right from wrong, they still get influenced by the mess. You can't run from it, fam. So I know that his sons are being influenced by this. You know, yeah, it's a humiliation ritual, man. Humiliation ritual. Yeah, that that video with Kevin Hart, man, walking with that dress was so bad, man. I couldn't believe it, man. And they do this only with our brothers, man. They be putting all of our brothers in these dresses, man. But hey, man, leave your comments, man. I'm going to get up on out of here. Um, I don't want to be on too long. Um, got a lot of other videos I got to do throughout the morning and throughout the evening, afternoon. I got a bunch of content, man. I got like about 70 plus videos that I got to do. <laughs> I kid you not. I got about 70 plus videos that I got to do. Um, I have a new method of how to make content. That is, I really like the method and I'll be able to push out way more content. So I'm going to implement that strategy. But um, leave your thoughts, man. Let me know what you think about this, man. Do you think that uh, he was forced by the industry to put on this dress? Or he, you know, always loved wearing dresses, you know? I mean, look how the young brother's there looking at him with the dress. You know, this is crazy, man. He got earrings. Now, remember what I told you guys about these earrings, man. I told you guys, take these earrings out of your ear. Stop wearing these earrings, bro. You guys got to stop this mess. Stop wearing these earrings and, and you know, jewelry. The only thing as a man you're supposed to have on is a watch. That's it. Everything else is what women do, bro. I don't know if your father haven't sat you down and, and gave you the, the, the ropes, but uh, last time I checked, diamonds... It is a woman's best friend, right? Um, the term jewelry, right, is feminine. That's for women. It's like when we see a sister and she's fine, she's beautiful, pleasant to be around. What do we call her? A jewel. A rare jewel. Why? Because it's feminine. So when a man is wearing earrings, bracelets, um, necklaces, all sorts of stuff. That's feminine. I don't care how you put it. All these rappers, all these artists, they all got this stuff around their neck, bracelets, rings. You know, that's what women do to get attention to their to their body. It, it gets attention to themselves. So when a man do that, um, you have emasculated yourself. I know it's difficult for a lot of you guys to understand but um, as men, we're not supposed to be having on none of this stuff. I mean, why as a man, you want a bracelet or a chain? Like, what do you want that for? For what? For attention. That's what you want it for. I mean, if you even open the Bible and read it, it talks about how, you know, women need to dress modest in modest apparel, not with, you know, costly array in terms of jewelry earrings and all this other mess but the focus on the hidden man of the heart not saying that you can't look good as a woman but your, your tail shouldn't be all outdoor for us to lust after i mean if you're a sister and you look good i should be able to look at you from head to toe and just admire your beauty just because you're just fine you, you shouldn't have to be naked in order for me to desire you you understand if a woman look good, it doesn't matter if she's covered up. She's going to still look good no matter what, because she's carrying herself like a woman. She's feminine. She's she's fit. You know, she's going to be desirable. But if you got to put on all this extra stuff, it's because you're trying to bring attention to yourself. So as men, we got to stop doing all these feminine things. If you If you claim to be a masculine man then you got to cut all of that other stuff out. Now, if you are a guy and you, you, you're you feminine or you want to play for the other team, then I'm not talking to you. Just do what you want to do and leave me alone. All I'm saying is I'm speaking for masculine men, right? I don't got no business with what you're dealing with 
or what lifestyle you got. I'm not here for none of that. You know what I mean? To each his own. Just don't push your business on me and I'm not pushing my business on you. I'm not trying to save nobody from no other community. You know what I mean? If you choose to live a certain way and that's how you want to go, then hey, go your way. I'm not here to save you, right? I'm here to speak to men, you know, heterosexual men that are fathers, that, uh, you know, stand firm on their beliefs and rep the most high. Um, anything else, I have nothing to do with that, right? So don't mix mingle me in your mess. I don't got no time for that, right? So that being said, um, leave your comments. Let me know what you think of the stream. You know, do you agree with Neo wearing the dress? Do you think he's a bad example as a father now? Do you think he contradicted himself? Do you think he did it to uh, please the other team? Um, what say you? You know, that's that's the main thing, fam. So, hey, let me know what you think about it, man. We're going to get up on out of here. And it is what it is, man. I don't know, man. This is a sad day, man. Very, very sad day, man. Another brother bites the dust. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. Anyway, y'all, y'all take care. Ringo TV Reactions. If you haven't already, please click the like button. Likes don't cost you not one dollar. So get those likes up, fam. We need them likes to hit a thousand. So to all the people that will watch the playback, be sure to hit the like button. As soon as you get to that point in the video and you hear me talk about hit the like button, hit the like button. Because a lot of times people view and they forget to click the like button. Um, we want to make sure that everybody click that like button. That's how we push these videos through the algorithm. So we'll be back later on with more content. We got a lot to talk about. Um... You know, we got another video that we got to do. I might come back on again because um, I got to talk about another video that I seen. And it's rather it, it's just it's a very troubling video, to say the least. So uh, I think I'm going to go um, set that up and then come back with another one. And then we'll be back on later on camera to do more content. But uh, the next video I got to talk about, um, it's, it's just rather disturbing, to say the least. And it just goes to show where the future is, that we're in trouble. Like, we're really in trouble. Um, and I'm going to be speaking mainly to the ladies. Um, you're in trouble, fam. You ladies are in trouble. You're, you're in a very, very bad situation. There's no hope um, for the future of these young girls that are coming up. Um, it's really bad. So we're going to talk about that in the next video. Um, yeah, I got a lot of content to do, man. This is crazy. Anyway, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Ringo TV Reactions, the number one reactionary channel on YouTube. Hands down, you already don't know what it is. Right? Peace and blessings to the mods in the chat. I'll catch you later on for another one. I'm out of here, fam. Peace. We out. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Ringo TV Reactions, the only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw and uncut. I'm out. Peace.